My special guest today is Wayne Chang. He's the co-founder of Digits. Wayne is a serial entrepreneur and one of Forbes' top 50 angel investors. Wayne has created products that were acquired by Google and Twitter, and he has been involved in over 80 startups. His latest venture, Digits, recently announced the closure of its Series C funding and values the company at $565 million. Welcome to the show, Wayne. Thank you. Thank you. Happy to be here. Yeah. Well, tell our audience about Digits. Why'd you found it? What's it do? I know you have a big new product coming out. Um, so just tell anyone who might not be an accountant, might not be familiar with the problems they face uh, about Digits. Yeah, sure. Um, Jeff, my co-founder and I, we're deeply passionate about bringing innovation to spaces that lack it. Uh, last company that we did together, uh, Crashlytics, it was crash reporting. Um, very, very unsexy, basically these very hard to read reports uh, when your app crashes uh, and you have to like figure out like what's going on with it, how to solve it, and it's impossible to read. And so we made that super delightful, super easy, and it turns out people want delightful, people do want easy. And um, Crashworks is now used in over 99% of all mobile devices. Uh, so if you use an iOS, or use an Android phone, Crashlytics is in there probably at least a dozen times in all these different apps that you're in. We have, uh, the, the user base there is about 6 billion monthly uh, active uh, devices. Um, and so with Digits itself, same problem, different audience. Here it's financial reporting. At the very surface level, it's financial reporting. These are reports that a lot of people don't understand, especially if you're not an accountant. Um, and so for us, we're like, can we make this sexy? Can we make this approachable? And we thought, okay, let's go ahead and do that. Let's build digits. Let's go, let's go do that. And it turns out the problem is actually much harder than Crashlytics. This problem, um, it took us three years to build. Crashlytics took a, a year to, to build, launch, and exit. With digits, we had to solve a problem so fundamental. Um, and it, it, it required us to go down this deep rabbit hole. And we didn't know if we were going to solve it. And we did. And the, the, the fruit of that labor is what we call the living model. And so the living model that we created is this understanding, this, this impact of when, when one of your employees or when someone at your company, you know, spends something or, uh, or um, marketing overspends on budget, it will have an immediate impact throughout the entire organization. And so before the living model, the only way to understand that is accountants or bookkeepers or finance people, they have to look historically and be like, okay, what's going on here? Do it manually, do some tracing, um, and be like, oh, you're over budget on marketing, and that's going to impact your runway. So we created a living model that instantaneously knows the reverberations of any change across the entire company and proactively uh, notifies the people that need to be notified. And so that changes everything. And so now that we have this living model technology, we're putting that into uh, tools and products that the industry can use. And so one of the first few innovations that we have is one uh, from last year uh, that we call Digit Search. For the very first time, you, uh, you as a business owner or you as an accountant can real-time search your finances uh, without having to do the main reconciliation, waiting three weeks to, to combine it. And then uh, last week, we announced Digit's Reports. Uh, and that's the very first time that you can have interactive financial reporting. So we're sort of reinventing the monthly reports that uh, accountants give and that, re that business owners uh, receive. Wow. And I, I find it sexy. I mean, like financial reporting is super near and dear to my heart. And like Crashlytics, I love that you made, you took it and made it sexy. But like I deal with these problems all the time at my business. So like we've got finance, they do month end reporting. And we have a hard time making decisions out of all these different data sources. So like if someone uses digits, if you're following along, it's digits.com. Um, if they use that and they get this reporting and they get this insight, like what can they do differently? Like what's the sexy benefit that you get? Yeah, that's a, that's a really great question. The it, it's, I get very passionate talking about this. And it's very weird. If you asked me a couple years ago, it's like, would you be passionate talking about financial reporting? I'm like, no, no way. way, no way. Uh, but now that I'm really into it, um, from the 
I, I'm gonna say from it, it, there's so many benefits across the whole of uh, the tool like uh, workflow chain. I'll, I'll, I'll say from the accountant side, so that way um, we can see the magic there. So in order for the business owner to receive that report that you may or may not even open, you may get an email in your inbox and it's like April, month end close. A lot of business owners don't even click that because usually what's on the other side of that is this Excel workbook. And there's like multiple sheets of, of things and, and lots of grids of numbers. And it's just, it's more work than it is more insightful, more actionable. And so what we've made for the accountant side of it is instead of spending three to five hours, some, some people even told us it was like five to eight hours to prepare each of these reports for one accountant, one click of these reports, it generates it all. And so for the very first time, you could close, you could generate these reports for all your clients, one click of a button, right? And so you're saving almost an entire weeks of, of, of time, uh, depending on how many clients you have or how big your firm is. And uh, on the other side of it, when the business owner, when your client receives it, you look like a rock star as an accountant uh, because you're not giving them the, 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 the boring black and white P&L, the things that you don't even know what it looks like. You're giving them gorgeous um, a, a reporting that's that's full fidelity color. We're, you know, we're talking about like even the cover is animated. And then if they have a question on it, they just hover their mouse over something. And we created this thing that we call Hover to Discover, where for the very first time, when you hover over a PDF, you're like, what is this? Is this is this business? Is this business marketing spend? Is this good or bad? Well, with Digits Reports, you mouse over it, a pop-up appears. And then you see a historical graph of like what it, how's it compare to the previous month? You see a breakdown of your top spend by vendor. Like, oh, I spent more on LinkedIn this this month than I did last month. And so it answers all these questions that saves all, all, all the back and forth over email or phone call. Like, I don't get this. Business owners love it. It makes the accountants look like a rock star. And it's as simple as just pressing a button. I think that accountants are going to love that because they're not going to spend their time answering questions silly questions or like oh, you know, they're getting a lot of their time back they can be more impactful they can be more strategic and then the people who are making those decisions they have the answers right in front of them but also then you can start thinking you spend more yeah. of your time thinking less of your time cleaning up that data exactly exactly and, and that's at the end of the day there's all we um that's a, that that is the core problem that we're, we're solving here is the the uh, humans shouldn't spend their time doing things that machines can we want to build these tools for accountants. We want to build these tools for businesses. These are tools that, that other professions have. If you're a web developer or web marketer, you have, you have this swath of tools. You have analytics, you have proactive notifications, you have segmentation, you have all this kind of stuff. And then when it comes to business finance, accounting, all that kind of stuff, you're, you're, you're basically pen and paper, calculator, maybe an Excel spreadsheet, something like that. But the, the, the tools available to you are not, you know, the 21st century type of tools. Yeah, it's like they forgot that the accountants existed. You just assumed, you know, that they didn't need anything or any any innovation. It's a classic, classic problem in finance and, and where, where the innovation can really make a difference. So, okay, let's say I wanted to use this tool what's the setup like i mean do i have to integrate it somehow like how, how's the front end work for me yeah. if my business wants to take advantage of this wow yeah so great question um i have very few passions in life andrew and one of those passions is onboarding which is really weird cool. considering that i just talked to you about crash reporting and financial reporting and now it's onboarding yeah. so uh onboarding is one of those very rare areas that how should I say this? Uh, sometimes when I go to a restaurant, I judge the restaurant by how their bathroom is, right? These are the areas where people don't really think about because it's not really right. front of the house. And so the bathroom was really nice. I'm like, okay, that makes me trust the front of the house even more because they care about the end-to-end -end experience. Onboarding to me is the very same way. And so is a setting screen of like software. And so onboarding for very many businesses that's the last thing they think about. They build, they build a product and they're like, oh crap, I need to like figure out how to get our customers into the door. And that whole segment of onboarding could in, in other companies take from six weeks to 18 months. And it's a whole cottage industry. They have like 
on sales prem training, on sales migration, they, you know, uh, like, uh, hire us for 90 days and we're going to make sure that transitions all well. And that in itself is like really, really a major blocker to value. And a lot of companies might even fail before they even finish the whole process because the lifespan of a company is usually, you know, measured in, in months. So for us, we spent a huge amount of time uh, reducing that. And so our onboarding, you link QuickBooks and you link your corporate accounts and we generate the living model uh, from that information. So we create millions of data points for each book uh, that you link. And then, and then we maintain that in our systems and we create that living model. So it's effectively your own uh, machine learning model that's constantly learning, constantly warping in your control for every single business that you connect. Wow. We, I deal, I love the, the restaurant analogy because I think about that all the time. It's an experience, right? It's not just how good was the food. It's yes. how did I get in the door? Did I get a table? Was it hard? Was the bathroom clean? Like all that stuff. And I feel like a lot of companies, do, they do forget this. In my, in my industry, we're thinking about developer onboarding experience all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things that is overlooked is how expensive it can be for a company to integrate a new tool because you have to pay the human resources, whether it's a developer or an accountant, whatever, to set the new tool up. And if that takes weeks and weeks of that staff person's time, you're not actually saving any money or getting any advantage. So it sounds like if I wanted to, to take a demo of this or trial it, like we, my accounting team could hook it up to QuickBooks and be off and running. And you're handling a lot of the, the harder part of the cleaning and analyzing the data without them even having to think about it. Andrew, that is 100% correct. Yes, okay. we, we think of it as zero config, zero setup, you link it, and then we mm. do all the rest. Um, I love it. We, we want this to, we want to bring that level of, of uh, consumer experience to an area that's traditionally not been consumer at all, been super hard to, uh, to set up. And we made it just as simple as like click, click, click. Wow. I think that there's almost like a bait and switch on a lot of analytics platforms where they, you think you're going to get all this intelligence, going to save all this time, but really you're only getting as much intelligence as the time you put into cleaning and setting up and connecting everything. So I think that's a really sincere approach to say that you're actually going to do the hard work on the back end, and that sincerity will, will come through in adoption. Um, so you raised Series C. Congratulations. Yeah. You got this awesome valuation. It's out there. I'm like, holy cow, that's incredible. So what are you going to do with it? Where's all that money going? You know, like you're going to invest, you're going to keep building. Um, you've got a free plan on your website. Like where's this heading? What's the, what are you going to, how are you going to capitalize on that? Yeah. Yeah. Great question. So I've done, Jeff and I have done startups for quite a while now. And so our, our approach to building, um, instead of chasing revenue first, instead of chasing profitability, instead of chasing all these different pricing plans, our first goal for us, first and foremost is, can we build a product that the audience loves? Can we build a product that's actually useful? Can we build, uh, can, we, can we continue to do that? And so that's the train that we're on, where we wanna build these unique tools that don't exist anywhere else, that can't be done uh, without the living model, because the living model creates this opportunity to build a new class of software. Every other software that's pre-living model, it's basically a faster horse. And so with the living model, it's like the introduction of the automobile or the Tesla to an era where automobiles don't exist yet. And so that's what we wanna do is continue to build these type of tools. And so we have, uh, we just announced Digit's reports. Last year was Digit Search. Um, in June, we're going to do another major launch, which is another type of tool that hasn't existed before. We think it's going to be a total game changer. And our goal here is with the capital, continue to build that trust in the community, continue to build these tools uh, that, that the community finds really, really impactful and just keep on building. Um, the revenue and the profitability usually follow as long as we can build tools that resonate um, and, and, and create value for the community that we're targeting. Right. It's like the restaurant model. You know, you could spend all your money on advertising for your restaurant or you can have a great restaurant and yeah. that people really want to come to. And then it sells itself. You know, you'll have a line out the door and 
and <laughs> nobody can get a reservation before you know it. <laughs> um, so that's the plan is to keep serving these accountants. Are you getting lots of feedback from them? Like, are they in there? Are you be testing with that exact audience saying like, is this helpful getting kind of like almost like user testing from them on, on oh. the product? Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, what, there's so many use cases that people have, have, have used uh, our, our tool so far for. So one of them is, we'll go on one spe- side of the spectrum. One of them is the lazy bookkeeper slash accountant. I'd say lazy because <laughs> it's the end of the month and they have to do all these books. And they're like, they have the choice, either do it by hand uh, and, and do all these modeling, all these exporting, making sure it's all right, or go to digits uh, and, and click and generate. And so we found that a lot of people are going to digits, generate, 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 and sending it to their customers and getting like, wow, reactions versus doing by hand and getting the same reactions from their clients. Um, so customers are loving it. This morning, um, as we're talking right before this, we just pushed out a feature for digits reports, um, quarterly reports. Sounds really obvious, uh, but it turns out that reporting very different across accounting firms, very different across the client bases. Um, and so we'll continue to roll out what our customers want. Um, and so we're, we're continuously innovating on in, in the sector. How do we create the exact reports that your clients need or that your business needs in as few clicks as possible, but that gives you so much more interactive, hover to discover, uh, uh, you know, real-time commenting, all that kind of stuff in a package that's super easy to understand. I love that you're getting all that feedback from them. And then I, I can tell you learned from them. They're like, hey, we actually need to do this quarterly. And you're, I, I, I come across, I find those are the best insights where you think you know exactly how your audience is going to use something. And then they tell you something that surprises you. And you're like, oh, let's let's go after quarterly. Um, I, I love That's that. That's the best. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that a nice feeling when you're like, even to be proven wrong a little bit and be like, actually, this is what they want. Those are the, the insights that I, I find are, are the most valuable. Agreed. Agreed. Um, it, it, with the accounting industry, we take the position of like we we're the amateurs in the accounting industry, uh, but we're the experts in building tools and products. And so we want to pair with the experts in that industry to build these tools for them. And so we don't think of it as proving wrong. We think of it as we're just constantly learning, constantly iterating, constantly pushing out even better features for them. Uh, and so we're, we're excited to pair and partner with uh, hundreds of firms as we build these tools for them. I just love the idea that those accountants are are becoming heroes and like being viewed as like ninjas. And they were just previously they were just like kind of like this troll that was kept in the back, you know, and they have this this job to do. And all of a sudden people are like blown away and wowed and, and they're made into this kind of sexy superstar of the organization because they have this this tool like do you find that they're like they're excited about it in a way that oh, you don't yeah. usually get about software like this i mean that's exactly right yeah we they're so passionate about their field they're so passionate about industry about the accounting field the finance field uh, every time things change some some new innovation comes out um for me delighting people and creating things that make their lives a lot easier is a personal passion. And so with this audience in this demographic, the bar is set so low in terms of the tools that are available to them, that the reactions that we get when we show them, it, it, it's just, it's very fulfilling. Um, the, other, the other week, we showed them uh, a preview of what's coming in June, and uh, there were literal tears of joy uh, from them. It's the first time that's happened in, in, in my entire career. Wow. Um, and I'm like, oh, that's for me. I'm like, I'm definitely solving a pain point. This is we're definitely creating something that's going to impact this person and probably that profession's life uh, and, and the way they go about it. So I, I just love doing this. I love I love building things that really matter to um, to, to a specific profession, and a specific pain point. Yeah, there's a book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, and they say like, if you want to, you want people to like you, listen to them. You know, get them to talk about themselves, right? And that's what you're doing with this whole accounting community is you're getting them to to tell you what their problems are, what their challenges are, and they're gonna love you because nobody else is doing that, right? Like, who else right. is going in there and asking those questions? Right, right, yeah. right. And uh, and um, oh, I should share my screen at some point, but I can I can show you digits, and it's not what you. Th- 
think it is. Right now, you're probably thinking digits is going to be this, this, this financial uh, application with like a chart at the top, maybe some like little, little pie charts or a list of things. And that's not what we created. We, we spent enormous amount of time to make the interface feel uh, next generation, feel like it's consumer. Um, so it's, a, it's quite an experience for people who, uh, who want that type of experience before the accounting industry or for the business finance for, or, for, uh, or if you're a business owner. Can you get that demo on your website if you go to digits.com? Is there like some videos and stuff so people can get a feel for it? They can, yeah. There's a, there's a, for the digits reports, you can. You can see a, a piece of it. Um, I was going to show you something a little under the hood. <laughs> yeah, well, half our audience is listening on Spotify, um, but the other half can see it on YouTube too. So if you're listening now um, and you won't be able to see this part, but I think we can do a, a little demo. Of, I, I can't resist under the hood. Um, <laughs> All right. So let me, I'm going to go ahead and show you what digits looks like. Um, and keep in mind that this is the result of a lot of effort, uh, a lot of uh, polish. Um, and so uh, tell, just tell us a, a little bit about what you were going to show under the hood. I'm just too curious. To oh, know. it's uh, is it just the it, visualization aspect of it? it? It's way better. It's way better. We're, we're talking about we're talking about um, going to your local park as an analogy, going to your local park and, and going to a swing uh and, and then going to disney world and, <laughs> and so I want, it's like how can you describe disney world right you have to really see and experience it so i'm excited to show it to you because i think oh. you have a very special uh perspective here and i would love to get your reaction as well i'm with wayne chang and he's gonna do a demo of digits if you're watching now this is a companion release uh, so we can get a look under the hood of some new features is yes, coming up on the digits platform let's let's take a look wayne Yep. So this is a real company, and we have um, permission from this company to uh, to demo it. Uh, but so this right here you're seeing is digits, and so this is uh, where I'm logged in as Drew uh, from a company called Digital Press, and this whole thing that you're seeing right here is digits. So this right here is Digit Search, which I'll show you in a second, and this right here is last week's release, uh, Digits Reports. And so for digit search, um, before I even show you, actually, I'll show you this first, just so you can see you asked about onboarding. So I'm going to go here, click, I'm going to go to integrations. And all they did was they linked their ledger. Here's QuickBooks. And then they have to uh, relink Chase, but you just link QuickBooks, you link uh, your, your account and you have digits. That's it. Um, wow. That's it. Really simple. And then so you get stuff like this. So if I go to digit search and I click through and then I type in something like, let's say, let's say I have a question and I'm thinking, um, the, has my company uh, used more or less uh, ride sharing uh, during the pandemic? So I'll just type in something like, let's say Uber. I type in Uber. And instantaneously, it tells me uh, Uber. It even shows the difference in Uber. Uber Eats has a nice little little graph here. And let's say I want more detail. You know what? Let me click into Uber, and then I just see right there. Okay, maybe if I want to do the last ten years, you can see in twenty twenty, not great for Uber. It went down 80 percent from wow. this span of here. Let's say now I want to click into it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to click into this one with $70.61. What is this? I'm going to click in. Ah, I can see the actual Chase uh, transaction here. I can see uh, the QuickBooks that the accountant booked, and I can see that our systems has reconciled it. It can also show that Digits has recognized it from just text into an entity, Uber, um, what the trend has been. And then who actually owns it? Again, no work needed from this company. All they did was they linked QuickBooks, they linked Chase, and were able to match all this together. Yeah. And then we're doing all of this analysis for them. Wow. Um, not only that, we can also do, let's say you want to do a fee. Now you see all your different fees that you're spending right there. Um, and we also created uh, suggested searches. So every 
every day it recalculates uh, across your entire books uh, to show you things that you might want to search for. Let's say you want to search for um, payroll expenses and you, you click on it through and it shows you, you know, your payroll expenses over time. So that's digit search. First time ever, you can search live your, um, your current uh, financials for your business. Uh, never before can you do that. It, this is the first place that nails it all together and allows real live searching. Wow. The thing that we announced last week. Go ahead, Andrew. Well, the level of transparency. I mean, it's just obvious that if I'm the if I'm, I'm not in accounting, I'm not diving into my reports in a, like a PDF format that way. I can say I'm interested in those Uber uh, transactions. I can drill down in a way that you. I mean, you're just never going to get there with an Excel or a PDF. Exactly. Exactly. And then so with the Excel and the PDF, where where you actually get the month close, the, the P and L. Uh, let me show you an example of Digit's report. So you click here. And so you've seen the PL obviously many, many different times. Um, let me show you, let's say maybe February. So I'll show you a report here. So what you're seeing here is a Digit's report. And it looks very similar to, uh, format wise, it looks very, very similar to a normal one, except, you know, we have cool little things like it animates in the background. This right here, auto generated by digits and you can actually edit it if you are uh, if you are um, in edit mode or using the builder uh, and so this is and usually this is all blank if you're using a normal text editor we wanted to create a tool that can uh, uplift it and so we would we would find some insights pre-type this for you and then you can modify it right there huge boost you don't have to really think through too much uh, as a bookkeeper or an accountant you can just find a needle in the haystack right away and then give that to your client. Um, and then here for the profit and loss, yeah, it's like, great, is this good? Is this bad? So we created this thing called Hover Discover. And so you just hover over it and it's right there. And then you can be like, great, this is, you know, top top transactions, all this, all this kind of stuff just, just occurs that it just feels so natural um, and you wonder why, you know, other software doesn't have this and so, we want to create this type of uh, innovation. So this is very simply um, uh, digits reports, hover to discover, and then you can see this thing if you're an accountant. Let's say you want to go here, and then you're like, you can you see an insight you love. You can just click add to executive summary, and that adds it up here, so that when you ship it to your client, you don't even have to do much. So again, you can just it just it just surfaces the things that you care about and then for your client, they just enjoy this part and they enjoy the visibility here. They can even comment. Let's say you're like website and software, you know, at Drew, what is, what is this? Right. And then you can do, you can do inline commenting right there. We also have awesome, just simple share. You know, if you want to share this, this report, other people can comment on it. So now you don't have emails going back and forth. Um, it's secure. Um, so that's basically the two tools that we've announced and, and, uh, and we're really excited as you can see for some of the other stuff coming out, uh, to launch those as well. I have to admit, I'm excited for them too. I never thought I'd say that about an accounting, uh, reporting <laughs> tool, but even the color scheme and the user experience of it, you can tell is taking the unsexy accounting back end and bringing it to the front and allowing it to drive business decision making, but not making things harder for the accountant from the integration all the way through generating the report, commenting, creating an executive summary. It's so easy that the accountant who's already probably busy, you know, has a lot going on, their lives are actually easier and they're, they're, they're able to create much better analytics for their clients. Yeah. 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 And, and one thing I didn't, I didn't touch upon that's, uh, that's, Pretty interesting for the audience here, for the startup founders. In QuickBooks, it's either God mode or nothing. And so you can either see everything and control everything or nothing. And so with Digits, uh, we're, we're rolling out this new feature where you could um, send a link to your head of marketing and they get their view of just the marketing spend and they can control it and they, and they don't see anything nice. else. They see everything below that. And so a lot of companies have been asking, I want, I just want to send this to my IT guy. I 
just want to send a sales one to our salespeople so they can monitor it. And they're all part of the same system. So as a startup founder, you get even tighter control as you, you send these partitioned uh, data to your, to your team. Wow. I love it. I'm really glad we got to see the demo. We'll add it into the to the full interview because it is a platform that is visual. You know, this is a this that's part of what makes it so special is that you've got that experience is intuitive and visually appealing. Um, so thanks for taking the time to do that. Of course, of course. We're we're excited about uh, what we're building. Can't wait to share it with next. But let's just wrap up. I want I want to ask you about something because I think a lot of our we specialize in selling to startups and like smaller companies are just getting going. There's this tension I think that they feel between needing to get to market, needing to make sales to show value as quickly as possible. Like a lot of the VCs and and investors I think put pressure on them that we felt that pressure when we were um, venture getting venture back because we're smaller to show revenue, show growth. And then you're talking about this other approach, which I feel like is much more sincere. It's like show value, show adoption and love. Like how do you recommend uh, startups navigate that kind of like tension between the need to make money now, you know, got to pay for servers and the need to, to really focus on UX and making things work really well. Get better investors. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's good advice. Yeah. If, if you have short term pressure to generate revenue, uh, that probably means that your product is pretty close to PMF, pretty close to ready, and you're just more worried about, about scaling. Uh, but if you're really caring about changing an industry or really caring about disrupting or market share, um, you can't worry about revenue too quickly uh, because that's just, you have to first plant your seeds before you harvest. If you're worrying about harvesting too quickly, uh, it might actually kill your crop. And, and so for us, it's like we, we first care about getting uh, mass adoption. I mean, and in order to do that, we really have to listen to our audience and we really have to make sure that we're, we're building a community, building um, the support base, really uh, building that trust with them. Um, accounting is one of the oldest professions and oldest industries out there. Um, and so we have to earn the trust of that whole entire industry uh, before they trust our 2022 technology, right? And so that's one of our biggest missions here. On the business side, we actually found it easier for the business uh, owners, for the startups and, 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 and for the startup founders and startup executives. They should be demanding that their, uh, that their P&O, their monthly closes, be made on digit reports because the transparency that's available there is, enormously, is enormous compared to what they get normally from a QuickBooks uh, you know, P&L uh, or monthly close. And so for us, we want to build the relationships on both sides. We want to make sure that the businesses trust us, the accountants trust us, um, and that we provide the bridge and, and the tooling uh, between both of them. It makes perfect sense. Like there's actually more value to be created in going slow and, yeah. and doing things right from the get-go. And if you, if you need to get to revenue quickly, you might be looking for a different kind of investor, maybe you're a different stage of business. Yeah, and there's a cool saying, that little quote. It's like the hunter that chases two rabbits catches none, right? And so <laughs> right. if you if you have one rabbit and it's like revenue, and the other one's like growth, and you're a start founder, choose the growth one because it's just so much more fun. You're building user love. Your value created by a startup does not have to be revenue. It can be so many things. Revenue is just one of them. But if you pre-select revenue as your top thing. Wow, your 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 startup journey is going to be like a like a world of hurt. But if you if you choose your startup one, your, your 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 north star is like growth in, in in building something that really fits the market that users actually love, that's so much more fun. You're you're building something, you're constantly getting great feedback, and then revenue is like a byproduct of that. Mm. Yeah, that's how you get to clients having tears of joy over excitement and 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 changing people's lives uh, with your technology rather than just making a little bit of an incremental difference exactly. in the margins. Yeah. yeah. I love the approach. If you want to learn more about it, you can go to digits.com and there's demos on there. There's trials on there. And then after we finish this episode, uh, uh, Wayne, maybe you can stick around and we'll, we'll upload a companion demo to go with the, the podcast. So thanks so much for being here. That was absolutely cool to learn about digits. All right. Thank you, Andrew.